So we have 62 minus 34. And we're using column sub subtraction here. So we have 34 written underneath 62. So with column subtraction, we always start with the smallest place value. We start with the units. So here we have two units, but we want to subtract four. Now if we only have two, we can't take away four. So what can we do? Well, we need to exchange or regroup one of our tens for ten units. So now we don't have six tens, we have five tens, and now we have twelve units. So now because we have twelve units, we can subtract one, two, three, four, and that leaves us with eight units. Now we can move on to our tens. So now we don't have six tens because we've exchanged, so we have five tens, and we want to subtract three tens. So let's subtract one, two, three. That leaves us with two tens. So 62 minus 34 equals 28. Now we have 219 minus 56. And with column subtraction, it's really important that we line up our place values. We don't want to put the 56 over here, or we might get confused and think we're taking away 500s and 610s, rather than 510s and 6 units. So we start with the units, we have 9, so we can take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and that leaves us with 3 units. Now we can move on to our 10s. We only have 1 10, but we need to subtract 5, so what do we need to do? Well, we know that 100 is the same as 10 tens, so we can exchange 100 for 10 more tens, or regroup 100 as 10 tens. So now we don't have 200s, we have 100, and we don't have 110, we now have 11 tens. And it's important that we understand here, we have one less 100, and 1 less than 2 is 1, so that's why we've got the 1 written there. And we have 10 more tens, so we can always write a 1 in front of our tens digit. So if we'd have had 300s rather than 200s, we could have crossed out and written a 2. Or with 700s, we'd cross out and write as 6, so 1 less than 7. If we had 900s, what would we do? We would cross out and write 8. And here, after we exchanged, 1 became 11, but if we'd have had 4, we would have made 14. If we'd have had 8, we would have made 18. If we'd have had 6, what would we have made? We would have 16. So here we have 11 tens, and if we subtract 5 tens, let's take away 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that leaves us with 6 tens. Now moving on to hundreds, we have 100, and we aren't taking anything away, so 1 take away 0 is still 1, so our answer is 163. Now pause the video and see if you can answer 430 minus 369 using the column method. So starting with the units, we have no units but we need to take away 9, 
So what do we need to do? We need to exchange one of our tens for ten units. So now we have two tens, we have one less ten, so one less than three is two, and we have ten units. So now if we have ten, we can subtract nine, and that leaves us with one. Now we can move on to our tens. So we can't subtract six from two, so we need to exchange one of our hundreds for ten more tens. So now we don't have four hundreds, we have three hundreds, and we can put a one in front of our two because we now have twelve tens. So with twelve tens we can take away one, two, three, four, five, six, and that leaves us with six tens. Now on to hundreds, we have three hundreds, so if we subtract three hundreds, we're left with zero, but rather than zero six one, because we don't have anything more to subtract, we can just write sixty one for our answer.